Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to grab the Google Street View panorama sphere into your Unreal Engine 5 to make it become the background, to make it become one of the sky in your Unreal Engine 5. Alright, what you need to do is you scroll down, go to my video descriptions. First, you go and download the panorama sphere FBX from this download link. Once you already downloaded, it is an FBX file. If you double click, it will automatically open by using the 3D Viewer in your Microsoft Windows 10. It is just a sphere. Next, go and download the Google Street View Grabber. By clicking this link, you should be able to get the zip file. And after that, you extract the zip file, you will get the Street View Grabber. 1.6.0 <clears throat> Next, what you are going to do is go to the Google Street View First, you, you enter the Google Map first I copy this location so You can go to the video description and just click into map.google.com And now I will enter the Google Street View Alright, so now I can search anywhere, for example, New York City. Should be at United States of America. So at here, this is the Google Street View. I just need to click at any route. For example, here. Once I click it, you should be able to see this. This is a Google Street View. Click here and it will enter the Google Street View. Alright, so once you already enter the Google Street View, okay, maybe I don't want this, I want to choose other, other place, maybe I, I'll choose it here. Just have a click. Okay, now, this is the Google Street View. In order to grab the Google Street View, what you are going to do is go to the Street View Viewer, the Street View Grabber that you had downloaded from me. Double click the Street View Grabber. Next, make sure you untick the crop panorama. The panorama. Untick it. And then you copy the Google Street View link. Control C to copy. Copy this link or you can right click to select copy. Then you come back to the Street View Grabber. Here, click Add Panel. <coughs> Do you want to import URLs from Clipboard? From Clipboard, select Yes. Now you can click Grab. Once you click Grab, it will automatically generate an output folder and you can see once you see done that means it okay already finish you can close it in your output folder you double click in you can see you double click and check this picture this is the google street view panorama texture that later you are going to import, import into your unreal engine 5 all right now it's your time to open the Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to close this texture. Okay, now I can close the Google Street View as well. I open my Unreal Engine 5. As demo, I will create a third person game. Click the third person, I, I will create this. The project name, I will put Street View to Unreal Engine 5 demo. Demo 0 once. Okay, demo. Demo once. I'm going to click create. Now the Unreal Engine 5 is creating a new game project. So now I'm going to show you step by step how to import the Google Street View into Unreal Engine 5. Just wait for a while until the Unreal Engine 5 project is finished loading now this is my Unreal Engine 5 new project 
start from the beginning. It's totally fresh. Now, what should I do? As demo, I will create a new level. Click File, New Level. I will choose the default. And I will click this plane. And then I will press R to make sure the XY plane make it very large. Because I just want to demo the street view. Okay, next. The player start is already here. So what can I do to import the Google Street View now? First click the contents. Under the content folder, I'm going to right click, open a new folder, create a folder here. I will just name it Street View. All right, enter and double click in. At here, what should you do? Next, import the panorama sphere on your desktop. The panorama sphere FBX file, you drag into the street view and release your mouse. Make sure you don't tick the skeleton mesh, you click the import all. And wait for a while. Okay, now you can see this panorama sphere already imported into your Unreal Engine 5. If you double click it, It is loading the panorama sphere, the panorama sphere, wait for a while. Okay, you can see now this, this sphere is, it's quite big and what you need to do, you just need to drag here down, set the collisions. The collision complexity, you switch it to use complex collision as symbol. Then click save, and now you can close it. And next, what you are going to do is you can drag the panorama sphere out here. See? Once you click play, now actually you are inside the panorama sphere. If I press escape, it will back to the editor. Now, I can make this sphere bigger. So I click, the, I click this panorama sphere. The scale I make it become 5. Let's say I make it become 5 for all, all the numbers. Then now I try to play, you can see this panorama sphere already, already quite big already. Because of some, some collision already set it, you are able to come out from the panorama sphere. Press escape. Now, next what we are going to do is, we want to import the street view texture. So now, Let's see, where is the street view picture? It's inside the street view gravel, double click in, it's in the output folder. This, this is the texture. So now I drag in, drag into the street view, and wait for a while. Now you have this picture, the street view. If I drag this into here, okay, you see, th wait, this is the texture, drag into here, release and wait for a while now once you click play you can see now this is a google street view it is a panorama sphere if i escape it maybe 
maybe I need to shift the position or change the light, the light setting. Okay, this one, I can just press W and move it. Okay, if you play, actually you are inside the panorama sphere. And what else you need to do is go and set the lighting to make it bright, to make it clear, to put some point lights here to let the Google Street View look nicer. It is really look like 3D and it is a panorama sphere. If I escape it. Alright, now actually this is just a sphere and the panorama sphere of the Google Street View is just a texture. What you need to do is just to get in in this way and that's all for today about how to import the Google Street View into your Unreal Engine 5 and make it become a background of your game project and you can set your animation and games inside the Street View. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.